It's Sophie Ellis Baxter. God, you're busy. <laughs> Eight albums, five kids. Not only did I not know about dance music and not sing it before, I also didn't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> did um, you not? No, I was an indie kid. As a young woman in th- in that world, I felt like it was all about trying to prove something. And so Groove Jet was a bit of a kind of sod it. I'm going to do something that you'd never write about. I'm going to do something that the melody maker and enemy. It's a world they're not even, they don't even talk about Ibiza. They don't talk about what's happening in the clubs. And I really liked the feel of the track. And I just thought this is just a good thing for my head. There's no rules unless you make them for yourself. So you're, you're okay to break them if you aren't you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, whose rules do you live by? You know, that's that's surely entirely down to you. Exactly. In lockdown, not only did you manage to create a mini movement that cheered <laughs> up so many, but you did it in sequins and heels with children running around you. Goodness knows what my youngest, he's two now. So for him, if I start moving the table in the playroom, he's like, oh, disco, you know, it's just, it's just <laughs> ingrained, but that's what we do sometimes. <laughs> Some of my outfits were pretty out there, a lot of sort of sparkly leotards and things. And I, someone had said to me, oh, you know, you're embarrassing your son. And I'd said, no, no, son, he's actually very encouraging. And then I told him about it, he was like, no, it's it's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are covered yourself up a bit, but but I was like, you know what? I'm doing bloody loads in the house, and it's you know it's always something to be done. If I need a bit of like half an hour once a week where I put on a sequin something or other, sod it. Like that's for me. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Too right. 